Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to multiply matrices. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. Multiplying matrices is one of the trickier matrix operations, but I'm going to do my best to make it as simple and comprehensible as possible in today's lesson. We're going to begin by quickly looking at the basic process that is repeated over and over again when multiplying multiplying matrices. So let's say we're multiplying two matrices, and this is a row of the matrix on the left, and this is a column of the matrix on the right. When we do matrix multiplication, we'll be matching rows of the matrix on the left to columns of the matrix on the right, and each time we match a row to a column, we'll do an operation that is called the dot product. And you don't have to know the name of the operation, but that's what it's called. And here's how it works. Again, we match a row to a column, and the row and column need to have the same number of entries. In this case, they both have three entries. Then, we multiply the first entry of the row by the first entry of the column, giving us 2 multiplied by 5, which is 10. Then, we multiply the second entry of the row by the second entry of the column. That's negative 3 times 4, which will be negative 12. And then, we multiply the third entry of the row by the third entry of the column. That's 1 times 2, which is equal to 2. And if we had more entries in the row and the column, we would continue in this way. Multiply the fourth entry by the fourth entry, fifth by the fifth, and so on. Now, once we're done multiplying, all of these corresponding entries, we add the products. So that's 10 plus negative 12, let me write that here, 10 plus negative 12, put that in parentheses, plus 2. This is equal to 0, as it turns out. And then just for example, let's say that this is the second row of its matrix, and that this is the first column of its matrix. Then, this zero will go in the second row and first column of the resulting matrix when we multiply these two matrices together. So again, this is just a hypothetical snapshot of the operation that we'll be doing over and over again when we multiply matrices. We match a row to a column, and then we multiply corresponding entries, and then we add up all of the products and the resulting number is what goes in our new matrix. So if you can understand this process here, then matrix multiplication should be pretty easy. So now let's get into a full example multiplying two matrices. So here we've got two matrices and we are going to multiply them together. And in order to do that, we're going to need to do the process we just went over. We're gonna have to do that several times. It's natural to begin with the first row and the first column. So we're taking the first row of the matrix on the left and sort of matching it up with the first column of the matrix on the right. Hopefully that motion makes it a little bit more clear exactly what we're doing. So we have first entry multiplied by first entry, and to that we add second entry multiplied by second entry. So that's 2 multiplied by 4 plus 0 multiplied by negative 2. And notice that this is the first row of the matrix on the left, and this is the first column of the matrix on the right. That's why this dot product goes in the first row, first column, of this final matrix. We just have to do this same process with each row of the left matrix and each column of the right matrix. So next, we have the first row of the left matrix, and we're matching it up with the second column of the matrix on the right. So that's first entry multiplied by first entry. To that, we add second entry multiplied by second entry. That is going to be 2 multiplied by 2, plus 0 multiplied by 1. And again, notice this is the first row, this is the second column, so the dot product goes in the first row, second column. And we continue in this way. We'll try to go a little bit faster now. Take the second row, and we're matching it up to the first column. The first entries are negative 3 and 4, so we have negative 3 multiplied by 4, and then add the product of the second entries, 4 times negative 2. So add 4 times negative 2. 
this is the second row, this is the first column, that's why this entry goes in the second row and the first column. Then we take the same row, the second row, and we match it up with the second column of the matrix on the right. Multiply first entries, that's negative 3 times 2, so negative 3 multiplied by 2, add to that the product of the second entries, 4 times 1, plus 4 times 1. Then we move on to the last row, matching that up with the first column. So we'll start writing that. These are the first entries. Multiply those, 7 times 4. And then add to that the product of the second entries, 1 multiplied by negative 2. And then lastly, we match the third row to the third column. Put that back and start writing. First entries get multiplied. That's 7 times 2. Add to that the product of the second entries. That's 1 times 1. So there we go. Now we are pretty much done. We'll just want to simplify these expressions. So we'll just write our final answer in a matrix down here. 2 times 4 is 8. 0 times negative 2 is 0. 8 plus 0 is just 8. Then 2 times 2 is 4. 0 times 1 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. Negative 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 12 plus negative 8 is negative 20. Then negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. 7 times 4 is 28. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 28 plus negative 2 is 26. And then 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 1 is 1. 14 plus 1 is 15. And there we go. This is our final answer. When we multiply this matrix by this matrix, this is what we get. So remember, all we're doing is that operation we began with over and over again. We're just doing the dot products of each row in the matrix on the left with each column of the matrix on the right. And once you've gone through and done all of those dot products, you are pretty much done the matrix multiplication. You'll just have to simplify the expressions a little bit. Now we have just a couple of important closing points that we need to go over. The dimensions of this matrix are 3 by 2. It has 3 rows and 2 columns. The dimensions of this matrix are 2 by 2 because it has 2 rows and 2 columns. So in order to multiply 2 matrices, the matrix on the left needs to have the same number of columns as the matrix on the right has rows. So these two numbers need to be the same. If they weren't the same, then the rows and the columns wouldn't be able to match up and you wouldn't be able to calculate those dot products. Again, when we're multiplying matrices, we're computing dot products of the rows of the matrix on the left with the columns of the matrix on the right. So in order to multiply the matrices, the matrix on the left needs to have as many columns as the matrix on the right has rows, which means that these two numbers need to be the same in order to multiply these matrices in this order. And another thing that's interesting is that the dimensions of the resulting matrix are actually this number, 3, by this number. You see that this matrix has three rows and it has two columns. So the resulting matrix has as many rows as the first matrix and as many columns as the second matrix. Then the last thing that I want to mention, let's say that A and B are two matrices and we can multiply A and B. Then A multiplied by B is not necessarily equal to the matrix B multiplied by the matrix A. A times B might equal B times A in certain cases, but it isn't always true, which is contrary to real numbers, which we can multiply in any order without changing the result. For example, consider these two matrices that we just multiplied together. If we wanted to switch the order of this multiplication, Let's just move these matrices around. So we're multiplying the same matrices, but in a different order. The dimensions of this matrix, remember, are 2 by 2, and the dimensions of this matrix are 3 by 2. Then this is actually undefined. We can't multiply these two matrices together because this matrix on the left 
has a different number of columns than the matrix on the right has rows. Since these two numbers are not the same, we can't multiply the matrices in this order. And lastly, here's a bit of an example slash practice problem. This matrix has dimensions three by one, three rows, one column. This one over here has dimensions one by three, one row, three columns. Since this number is the same as this number, and this number is the same as this number, we can multiply these matrices in either order. However, you're not going to get the same result when you multiply these matrices in different orders. So go ahead and give this a try. Multiply this matrix on the left by this matrix on the right. Then try switching the order, and you'll see that the results are not the same. Let me know how it goes down in the comments, and I'd be happy to give you a hand if you're having any trouble. So I hope this video helped you understand how to multiply matrices. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.